Welcome to Joystick. In this video, you will learn how to write the Python program to count occurrences of a character in a string. The interesting thing is you are not going to learn only one method to count the occurrences of a character, but you will learn how to find the occurrence of a character in a string using three methods. Yes, three methods. So keep watching this video till the end and you will gain enough knowledge to impress your next interviews interviewer or your project manager. Let's switch to PyCharm and start writing the program. This is my PyCharm IDE and I have created this file count underscore occurrences dot py in which I'll write the program. My advice is that you follow along with me as that way you will absorb the code better. Now, if you want to get better at Python, if you want to become an expert in Python programming, then uh, do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet and hit the bell icon because that way you won't miss out on any of the videos that I release in the future. I'll begin with uh, writing the main function first for which I'll simply type the main keyword and uh, PyCharm will create the syntax for me. After this, let's initialize a variable str to a string kabaddi, which is the incredible Indian sport. I'll check for the occurrences of the character a in this string kabaddi. So I'll type str, which is my variable. I'll initialize it to kabaddi. There you go. Now I'll begin with the conventional method, which will be looping over each and every character of the string cup of tea, and incrementing the count variable every time the character A is encountered. And then finally print the value of the count variable. So it will be count equal to zero. So here I have declared and initialized a variable count to zero. Now I'll loop over each character of the string. Now I'll loop over the string. So for that, I'll write for i in str code. Now I'm going to check if any character of this string is a. So for that, I'll write if i double equals to sign a, then colon. And if any of the characters is a, then I have to increment the value of the count variable for which I'll write count equals to count plus one. There you go. This is the conventional method. Now, the only thing that I'm going to do is print the value of the count variable. So I'm going to type print within quotes. I'm going to write the message using conventional method. The count is curly brackets dot format within brackets. I'm going to write count. All right, so my expected result is two because you can see that A is occurring twice in this string kabaddi. Let's test it by running the program and check if it's returning the correct output. So I'll click on the play button. All right, I think uh, the program is run. So you can see that the occurrences of A have been returned as two, which is correct. The actual result matches the expected result. Now let's move to native methods of Python, which tend to remove extra lines of code. One such method is count. It's incredibly easy to find the occurrences of a character in a string using the count function. So let's write the code for it. So I will declare a variable. So let it be v underscore count. And then I'll write n equals to sign. Now I'm going to use my string variable dot count. Simple. And within the brackets, I'm going to write A within single quotes. That's it. This is going to do the job for me. So I am going to now print the output of the V underscore count variable. So I'll write print and then within quotes, I'll write a message using count function. The count is curly brackets dot format within brackets v underscore count now let's click on the play button and check the output you can see the output is coming as two that means count function is working for us there is another function counter using which we can find the occurrences of a character in a string 
the counter function is available in the collections module so let's make use of it for that i am going to first import the counter function from the collections module so i am going to write from collections import counter now i am going to create a counter object so that will be v underscore counter this is going to be the name of my counter object followed by an equal to sign and i'm going to make use of this counter class and i'm going to pass my string variable as the parameter okay that's it now let's print the number of occurrences of the character a using the counter function for which i'm going to write print within quotes i'm going to write using counter class object the count is curly brackets dot format brackets all right now the counter object holds the data just like a dictionary that means in the key value pair format in our case it is going to hold the count of occurrences of each of the characters present in the string kabaddi but since we are interested in knowing the occurrences of the character a only so i will write v underscore counter square brackets and within these square brackets i am going to simply write a within quotes that's it let's test this part and check what's the output so i'll click on the play button now you can see that the number of occurrences using the counter class object has come out to be 2 that means this part is working fine the final way to find the occurrences of a character in a string is using the sum function very easy to code so let's do it so it will be print within brackets i'm going to type a message using sum function the count is curly brackets dot format within brackets i'm going to write sum and uh, within the brackets of the sum function i'm going to write i followed by two equals to sign within quotes i'm going to write a then for i in str that's it this is going to do the job for me now let's click on the play button and check the output there you go it's working fine the count is 2 using the sum function so this is also one of the ways using which you can find the number of occurrences of a character in a string so i hope you enjoyed all the methods i provided in this video to count the occurrences of a character in a string if you want to grow in python if you want to become an expert in python programming then do subscribe to my channel joey's tech if you haven't done it already and hit the bell icon i'll see you in the next video of joey's tech thank you and stay safe